Hello. I've told you that is not a toy. What is it? That's my new trophy. It was Amaru's most treasured possession. He wore it on a string around his neck, close to his heart. But you found a way to steal it. I had to. Do you know what it is? It's a cipher wheel. A coded message. Yes. And if Amaru goes to the trouble of putting a message in code, we have to know what that message is. Let me try. Maybe the code leads to the place of the flooded underworld. In the Mayan Cross, water comes from the south, and south is associated with the color yellow. Road, mountain, sky, east. That seems promising. Lining up the symbols has given me a possible location. Do these mean anything to you? Mountain road, sky road, east mountain? Yes. Amaru and his family lived near the base of the eastern mountain while he was growing up. So he would know the area very well, making it the perfect place for him to hide something important. I'll let you know what I find. I'm looking forward to it. The symbol in the center reads Place of the Flooded Underworld, and with the symbol for Pyramid in the uppermost position, the exposed symbols are, clockwise from the top, Nu, He Who Writes, Fire, Road. With yellow in the south, the exposed symbols are road, mountain, sky, east. Chambelin, Chambelin. Good day. See anything that you like? The gods favor us both. Here you go. Come back soon.
So many of our warriors have been captured. If they are not freed, they could be sacrificed, assassinated. My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. The rebels like to make sure everyone knows just how bad Amaru is. But what they don't tell you is that if it wasn't for Amaru and his dealings with the outsiders, Baititi would have faded into memory decades ago. Do they think there's corn in the fields or fish in the river because of something they did? <laughs> Amaru accepted the help of the outsiders during the famine. All the rebels did was complain about how their bellies ached. Amaru unified Baititi, saved us all from starvation and rot. You ask me? I think we owe him whatever he asks of us. It's an insult, a dishonor to Kukulkan. What's happened? The priests have forgotten their duties. They did not signal Kukulkan's arrival. People seem to be well aware of his passage through the streets. That is not enough. The great beam of light did not shine down on the city as it should. Who knows what is going on in the Temple of the Sun? It is busy today. Kukulkan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own offerings. Excuse me. Yes? I was wondering, have you lived around here for long? All my life, which makes for a very, very long time. <laughs> then you must have known Amaru when he was younger. Did I know Amaru? <laughs> yes, I certainly did. And that brother of his, too. Amaru was the older one, the quieter, more studious. Both boys had a passion for the unknown, for discovering the world around them. But where Sairi was the explorer, the adventurer, Amaru was the scholar. Together, they were a magnificent team, each one pushing the other to great heights. So they were close. <laughs> Inseparable. All brothers fight from time to time. But these two, they'd settle their disagreements in a matter of minutes, and their bond would be even stronger for it. And as for anyone else? <laughs> Nobody was allowed to get close. It was a game to them, keeping secrets only they knew. They had a secret hideaway, a private code, everything. A hideaway? Yes. They got there by climbing. Sorry, it's been ages. Uh, what did they call it? The Sky Road? That's it. That's it. The road to the sky. <laughs> I'd like to follow that road. Do you have any guesses as to where it might be? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but you're at the base of a mountain. Better start climbing.
Yakja le le cuchil zone mashanu cabetalti le piskinop cutalobo. Suna le chobacobo? Mishbekin hachku satalop tu lakalil. Ma tu javil kinsili. Hach hach, uts tu tanop uchik paja al dietel, ujasi cuyol le satal olobo. Canta la tocultiques, impatanol canan el huelle, tacle que no quieres amar el sobo. Hachaj, bastin huya, yola la mar. Mawokel yola le war wall, suk humansike. Yan macho holtek. Le catu yilaje, hop, u, mis tu pacta lingualik. Le ola tu estabón huelle, bastin hach canan, le war wallo. Ele 
la Willash! ¡Cero! ¡Cero! ¡Y me sé la shock es bajo! No wonder Amaru had it so well guarded. This is Sairi's tomb. There's an inscription in Latin. I will never hesitate again. I wonder what that means. <sighs> There's also a key. All right, let's try red in the north. Dancing, tree, water, nine. It also means many. Hmm. Dancing water near many trees. I think I know what fits that description.
This key was interred with Sairi's body, which means Amaru put it here. Was he trying to keep it preserved or keep it hidden? <laughs> Probably both. There's a Mayan symbol on it, similar to the ones on the cipher wheel, representing North. Red in the North. The exposed symbols are... This will lead.
Those two beams should be connected together. I should use the sluice gate. I should use the sluice gate. See if I can reach the top now. I'm sure I can turn the water level to my advantage. I'm sure I can turn the water level to my advantage. to turn those beams, but I can't from here. I have to turn those beams, but I can't from here. Time to connect everything. I have to turn those beams, but I can't from here. I have to turn those beams, but I can't from here. Time to connect everything.
rotten food from Trinity. How did they find this cave? The key fits this chest. Maybe the answers are inside. Sairi, here is some food to begin distributing to our people. I wish I'd managed to obtain it sooner, before you went hunting, especially since, as your older brother, the responsibility was mine, not yours. But you have always been as stubborn as the rest of our family. It comes from Trinity, that secret group of outsiders I was telling you about. They have promised me more, but first there is something I have to do for them. You can find me at the old village, beyond the gate that was put up to protect people from the Red Fungus. Amaru. Whatever the secret of this cipher wheel is, I don't think it has to do with the current conflict. I think it's older and much more personal. With luck, I'll find the explanation in the old village.
Hati, this must be the red fungus Amaru mentioned in his letter. It's obviously deadly. Cutting the rope will lower the cannon. Cutting the rope will lower the cannon. My dearest Sairi, I'm leaving this for you here at the gateway to my greatest fear in case I do not return. Trinity have, on more than one occasion, offered me the opportunity to join their number, and for several reasons I've delayed giving them a final answer. But I can delay no longer. They can provide the resources we need to feed Paititi and rescue our city from this terrible famine. So I put my fears aside, willing to risk even my very life for our people. And if I should pay the ultimate price, know that I did so with pride and with no regrets. Your love... Cutting the rope will lower the cannon. Trinity must have put these here. They should still be watching. The gate wasn't just for protection, it was to hide this tomb, and Amaru knew it was here. are too deadly to cross, but I can't pry my way through that barrier. I could use the sledge to line up the cart with the cannon. I could use the sledge to line up the cart with the cannon. Sledge needs to be in the same lane as the cart.
I move the cart into the other lane, it'll line up with the cannon. Heart needs to be all the way at the top. I have to do it again and get to the lift faster. So many bodies. I have to avoid those spores. As anticipated, Amaru has completed the sixth seal in exemplary fashion. In fact, he has earned the highest recorded score in the history of this trial, a testament not only to his considerable skill, but to his formidable determination. I judge him to be a more than worthy successor to my position. Signed, Dr. Dominguez. It's not a name. It's the title given to Trinity's leader. P.S. We will at once provide Paititi with the food necessary to relieve the famine, as promised to Amaru in exchange for committing to our cause. Thank <laughs> you. 
reconstruction is a test for the leadership of Trinity. If Amaru had fully committed to Trinity sooner, they would have given him the food then, before Sairi went hunting and got killed. I will never hesitate again. Amaru was making a promise to his dead brother, in a language no other Pytetian could read. There is one person who can confirm all of this for me. It's you again. Did you find what you're looking for? I think so. More than I was expecting. You look troubled. What's on your mind? Did you ever see Amaru back here after... after the famine? You mean after his brother died? I told you they were inseparable. When Sairi died, a part of Amaru died along with him. Not long after it happened, he came back here once. And then never again. He devoted himself entirely to the cult of Kukulkan. I guess his brother's death changed his priorities forever. Thank you. Even more helpful than I can say. Koryanka was right. This wheel is important to Amaru. It might be the most precious thing he owns. We have no reason and no right to keep it from him. Give this to him. Amaru! What did that insolent priest want? What? How? Give me that!
You're back. What have you learned? Too much, I think. What happened? I returned the cipher wheel to Amaru. Its messages have no value to the rebellion. The wheel is personal, a keepsake that represents Amaru's love for his brother Sairi. The codes point to various dead drops the brothers had, hidden throughout the city. One of them contained food which he had gotten from Trinity to help during the famine, but Sairi never received the message, because by then he'd already died. Amaru wasn't always the man he is now. Whatever his faults, he still believes in doing what's best for Paititi. I know. He's always held the city and the people in it close to his heart. Along with his regrets. Chichobe, Chaplu Besajón, Tuyash Hats, Levatelinos.